What's happening, people? Welcome to Say TV. Yes, Brentford, as you can see on the scoreline, I've won 4 0. Yeah, 4 0. Uh, it's not a joke. I'm not even lying to you. Um, can the season end just now? Can, can, can the season just end already? Like, I had a nice summer off. I had a nice summer off, you know. And again, already two games in, I'm just like, what is the point? What is the point of watching these plays anymore? What is the point of watching Man United anymore? It doesn't give you joy. I hate football now. I don't even want to watch football. I don't even want to watch Man United anymore. They are just giving me pain after pain after pain. Like, they're actually making me want to hate them. I don't like the word hate. You could dislike something, but hate seems stronger. But these players are not good enough. And Ten Hag, I've got a message for you. Do not give these time and these players a second chance. These will stab you in the back, Ten Hag. I'm telling you now. They will stab you in the back. A leopard doesn't change his spots. These guys are imposters. These guys, for me, are absolute imposters. They, what do these guys do in training that almost transpires into the into the pitch? What is it? These players are not good enough. And Ralph Ragnick told all you a lot that we needed ten new players, but the football club, who are absolute parasites, by the way, and they need to go. These Glazers need to go, man. They're ruining this football club. They're keeping players based off Glazonomics, because they believe that these players have some sort of value and some sort of asset. I'm sorry, man, they're not good enough. Eight years we've been talking about Luke Shaw, but yet he can't cross the ball. How many times are we going to give Rashford a chance, but then he wants a new contract, and then he's trying to get a new move so they can get a new contract, and he's trying to play us as the fans. And in the main United, what do they all do? No problem offering a new contract. That's how stupid they are. They don't learn. They never learn. They give in to these players and they're not good enough and they're not brave enough to sell them. But I've got one, one message to Ten Hag. Please, Ten Hag, don't let them ruin your reputation. Don't let them give in. Don't let them make you have sleepless nights. Don't let them win. Don't. Stand up for yourself, yeah, and get rid of these players. Because it won't give you any different. You can't polish your turn. I know you've got ego. I know you've got ego. I know you want to try and fix this. I know you want to be that first manager that does it. But I'm sorry, man. You can't do it with these lot. You can't. It's, 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 it's not going to happen. It literally isn't going to happen with these lot. They are not good enough to wear that football shirt. Some of these players, for me, are past it. Some of these players, for me... Warning signs. Hold, I hold my hand up. It could be the end of David De Gea. It could be the end of David De Gea. I, 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 I think his confidence, like I said to you, is shot. He can't play out from the back. Them mistakes that keep happening all the time, and I can't excuse it anymore. So those that want to come and beat me by the sword and beat me when I'm down, I'm sorry, man. And it's not me folding under pressure, but we need a whole new change, a cultural change. A reset. This football club needs a total reset. And I said that two or three years ago. And now we're here, August the 13th, 2022. The same old problems keep happening and happening again. Prima Donnas, Bruno Fernandes, I'm sorry. You've got to have your question right there. Is he good enough for you to take this club to back where he wants to be? Is he good enough to be number 10? He's 28. He keeps moaning like he's a 12-year-old. And yet produces nothing. Sancho. When it when we're gonna have questions about Sancho now, I'm sorry. We can't keep saying he needs time, he needs time. I'm not trying to blame him, by the way, before people start saying I've got an agenda against Sancho. I love Sancho, I want him to succeed. But when are we gonna have this conversation about Sancho? You need to step up, man. You need to step up and show what you can do. But is he another player that's drowned? in the dross of Man United. Is he another player that's fallen for the toxicity of this football club? The pressure. It's almost a disease for Man United. 
Maguire, captain, captain of Man United Football Club. He's the captain and he's supposed to lead by example. But yet he's the one that's always moaning. He's the one for the for the fourth goal out of position, rushing to get back. Where's the where's the composure? Where's the unity? Where's the leadership from him to get these players in 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 motion, in check? Where are they? Four 0 to Brentford. This is a team that's living in a fairy tale. They were nowhere near this Premier League five or ten years ago. I think they were playing in League One. Yet yeah, we're Man United, and we think we're better than them. And people came up to me and said, "Saeed, you're being negative. You're being negative. What do you mean a draw against Brentford? This is what we are, people." We're not that club anymore that can go to a team and win and get three points. You've almost got to be apprehensive now about my United. You've got to be apprehensive. You can't go full throttle anymore because it will just burn you. Today, the same old mistakes. These players just can't deliver anymore. And that's what Ten Hag, I hope and pray to God that he doesn't make the same mistakes that every other manager has done. And Fall for the bait. Fall for the bait. Do not fall for the bait. Because these players are pretenders. I've said it time and time again. They're pretenders who just think, you know what? We'll do something in training to impress the manager. And when we get to the pitch, he'll start to realise what how good we are or how bad we are, should I say. Liverpool, Southampton away. I don't know where the next three points is coming. You tell me where the next three points is coming from. You tell me where the next three points is coming from. We've got a minus five goal difference. We're bottom of the league and we don't know where the next three points is coming from. Liverpool away. Southampton away. Leicester at home. Crystal Palace away. I'm sorry. There's not one game that gives me confidence that say this Man United team that I'm seeing right now can go and deliver. There's two ways this can go. There's a way where it will just do the same old shit and it could get worse. Or the manager stands up and shows a bit of backbone. That's nothing against the manager, by the way. It's just something to say, you know what? The United fans, I'm listening to you and you don't deserve this. You don't deserve this. This is dross what we're seeing right now. Absolute dross. It's not good enough, man. Nobody out there should be coming out. The fans should get a refund who went to that stadium. The Glazers need to go. Parasites. They put this football club beneath the mud. And yet, they want to take dividends. Yet, they want to oh, get out of here. I'm done, man. Ten Hag, please don't fall for the bait. Get rid of these players. Like the video. Subscribe.